Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss how we can trigger a step function using API Gateway. Okay, so this particular concept is very very important with respect to big data pipeline design, especially if you are using step function. Okay, so maybe the front end users what they will do, they will be exposing one API to them, maybe using API key or AWS Cognito, we can make the whole system more secure. All those stuff, stuff will be obviously there. And what the front end user will do, they basically hit that particular API with some input, and that input will be provided to the step function input, and the step function will execute all the steps serially and it will end the process. Okay. Suppose that is the requirement. Then how to integrate API gateway with step function that we need to understand, and for that. Here, this particular documentation is there. Okay, beautifully explained all these steps steps one, step two, like that. We'll be following these steps and we will try to integrate between API gateway and step function one by one. Okay, so what is this step one? The step one is create an IAM role for API gateway, and to that particular API gateway, we have to attach AWS step function full access so that the integration will be perfectly fine and we can connect in between these two AWS services without any access issues okay right so what I will do I will go to IAM and then here what I will do I will go to roles and I will be creating a new role and then here the language sorry the service whatever I will be choosing that is API gateway I will go to next so as of now you can see I cannot add any other policy but once this is created I can add there okay so I will go to next so I can give him name demo tape API integration okay. okay just copy this one and then here I will create the role okay and I will start the role here I will just click on that and here I will attach the policy for Step function full access as per the documentation what we have written. Okay, so here our policy is attached. Okay, right. Then what is the step two? We will be creating our API gateway API. Okay, so here I will be going to AWS Management Console and then here I will be going to API gateway and then here we will be creating our API. But before that, we need to create the step function also, right. So what this step function will do, that will basically call a very simple hello world lambda. So first let me create one lambda also. Create function, function name, demo yt step API. And I want to give Python 3.9 and I will create the function, okay. So here you can see one hello world code is written, all I will do, I will just basically print this event, okay. That's it, nothing else. Just I want to show you whatever input will be sending from API gateway that will be coming to lambda. Okay, and then this lambda we will basically use in our step function. So here I will go to state machine, create state machine, visual workflow. That's fine. I will go to next, I will just put lambda. And then here the lambda name I'll be taking, and then here the API parameter I will just paste that and take that. Okay, if you want, you can add error handling and all those stuff, skip try behavior, try catch, etc. I'm not going to that, just a simple demo I want to show you. So, here, whatever state machine we have created visually for that the code is generated. So, you can use this one as infrastructure code for creating this particular state machine in your other AWS accounts or so. Okay. So here I will create this state machine, right? And here it is created. Currently, no execution is there. That's fine. And now we'll go back to API Gateway and we'll create the API. So generally, we use REST API. So I'm using that. And then here, what I will do? API name I can give demo step API flow. Some name I am giving, and I will create the API. Okay. So once I create the API, here I will add a resource path. Okay, already I have discussed all these things multiple times. So post data to step. Some name I am giving. So this resource path we have to add after the base URL. Okay. So here I'll be 
basically creating the resource and inside that i will create a method so what i want that api gateway input should be the step functions input okay whatever will be passing via api gateway that should be coming in step function so basically we want to send some amount of data using api gateway so we will be using post method okay and we will just check on this and here see this kind of page coming so if you follow the documentation here what they are doing they are choosing aws service choosing the region and service they are choosing as step function so i will be following the same uh, here i will be choosing aws service so my step function is basically not particular which is in basis to one so i will be going to region and i will be choosing in basis to one and here i will be searching sde step function sorry is step function and in here http method so we want to post the data right so i'll be choosing post method if you have documentation you can see this post action type use action name here it is given and action is start execution we have to give okay so here somewhere uh, start execution should be there so here see action is start execution so i'll be just going there and here action type i will be writing start execution and execution role what role it will use to integrate so here we have created the role right so that one i'll be copying and i'll be pasting that here okay content handling pass through that is whatever in api gateway we'll be putting that it will simply pass to our step function okay even in documentation also you can see it is passed through and then we have to choose save okay so we are all safe and we will save this one okay so it is safe and then what i will do here i will just deploy this api i'll be creating a stage maybe development environment and we will deploy this api okay so here i'll be taking this particular api name i'm going to postman here i'll be pasting that okay and not only that we have to put the resource path also so here what i will go to resources section and then here this is the one right so i'll be just taking this name and here i'll be pasting that okay so with this our complete url is ready i will be changing this particular method to post here headers are there whatever default headers we can already put all these things are there that's fine and now what we want we want to send some amount of data using this api to step function right that step function whatever input will be passing that should be going to lambda and in the event that will be sitting we are printing that to check whether integration is successful or not okay so here in the body part we will be putting raw body and that should be json data so here you can see in the documentation they have in the format also how you should be passing so here i'll be copying that and i'll be testing that here name part is unique identifier for each execution that is kind of optional so i'll remove that this very step function will generate unique name and then state machine arn okay that is what step function should be triggered that we need to pass currently we have created the api gateway integration with step function but we have not mentioned what should be the name of our state machine right so that we need to pass here so i'll be going to step function and i'll be copying the arn and here what i will do i'll paste that okay right and then here in the input section we can pass the json data how we pass like maybe one particular key is maybe name okay the name is like hello world okay hello world okay then i can put age as another key and the value is maybe just for the time being let's consider 29 okay now if we run this one will it work no because here see error is coming why here the quotation is opening double quotation is opening and in the name which is a key their double quotation is again started so the compiler is thinking that here double quotation opening and here double quotation is getting closed and this name is not inside any quotation that's why it is throwing error right but this particular double quotation is not ending double quotation for this one for this particular opening double quotation the ending double quotation is this one right so inside that whatever is there we have to basically make sure that our process is ignoring them so we will be basically putting a slash before them to make sure that those things it will be ignoring and that way here whatever double quotation is starting this particular will be treated as ending double quotation okay so now let me open the step function so currently you can see that nothing is there no execution is done and i can go to the monitor section and then here if i go to few logs in cloudwatch
So here also see currently this particular log group this name is not there okay because our lambda has not executed till now. So what I will do I will just make a send request okay. As soon as I am making a send request here execution error and start telling is giving. If I just refresh this place here see it is successful also because it is a very simple step function. So it started it invoked the lambda it is successful and it ended okay. So if I go to my lambda and then if I click on view logs in CloudWatch here we should be able to see the same input whatever we passed via our API gateway okay so see one log is generated 1041 currently also 1041 am okay I will click on that and then see here name is hello world and age is 29 so whatever we passed that is coming okay so maybe name I can pass this time so, uh, and age I can put maybe 24 okay and maybe I can put another parameter key value pair I can show you maybe school see I some name I am giving and here also I will be making sure that these inner double conditions are ignored and then if I make a send request that again it's successful if I go to my step function here you will see that another time it ran earlier run was at 10.41 am now it is at 10.42 am ok and if I go to CloudWatch and refresh this one here we will be able to see the data beautifully came name so Mukherjee age 24 school CMS ok that is whatever we are passing in the input this particular key that API gateway is sending to step, step function ok and this is the way how we can trigger our step function using API ok I will request you to go through this particular documentation once and try to implement the same in your account that way you will be getting more feeling out of it okay this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you